Now let us start the next chapter basic geometrical ideas. Now what is the meaning of geometry? So what is what does the geometry mean? The the word geometry the English word geometry is derived from the Greek word geometron and this is obtained by the two words geo and metron so geo means earth and metron means measurement so your geometry is widely used to measure the lands in the ancient days and nowadays the geometry is also used in the art architecture engineering and even the cloth designing so then in this geometry so we will learn about the line line segment point rays and triangles and quadrilaterals and the different geometrical shapes even we can find out the many objects around us in the shape of geometrical objects now we are going to learn about the point line segment line rays etc so first we will start with the point concept so what is a point a dot mark shape by the sharp tip of a pencil gives us an idea of a point so this point the dot mark shape by the sharp tip of a pencil gives us an idea of a point and here points are denoted by the capital letters points are denoted by capital letters so we write this point as capital A and for example if there is another point we write capital B and here points determine the location now let us define a line segment and a line so first a line segment now if you take any two points such as A and B so we can join these two points in different ways as A to B in this direction and A to B so but in this the shortest distance between the two points A and B is called the line segment AB so this is the shortest distance between the two points A and B so we can write the shortest distance between two points is called a line segment the line segment AB is denoted by by AB line segment or BA now it has only one dimension so that is length it has only one dimension that is length 
but a point has no dimensions either length, breadth or height but a line segment has only one dimension that is length and it has no breadth now the next one is a line now to determine a line segment we need two points so so this is the line segment joining the two points C and D including the point C and D so we need the two points to determine a line segment so this line segment is represented by CD or DC now the next one is a line so how we can obtain a line so a line is obtained by producing a line segment indifferently A line is obtained by producing a line segment indefinitely in both the directions. Now if you take a line segment AB and if you produce the line segment AB in both the directions indefinitely, so then we get a line. So to determine a line we need two points so here a line segment is named by two points on it so this line segment is represented by this line is represented by line AB or line BA and it has no endpoints on either side. A line has no endpoints on either side. But whereas a line segment has two endpoints, so we can write here a line segment has two endpoints. Now we can understand that a line segment is a portion of a line. So if you do, if you take any portion of the line, then it is said to be a line segment.